Hello, good morning, good evening, whenever you are watching this. It's Susan at Road Reads. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Um, uh, today, I'm, I'm gonna start vlogging. I haven't vlogged in ages, so I'm looking forward to it. I can't, I, I, I used, when I started the channel, I vlogged fairly often, and now I've been missing it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head into the big city, and um, uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I am in the city. <laughs> when I said the big city before, I'm being a bit facetious. There is no big city near me. But nonetheless, I do have a city where you can actually go shopping. So when you go into the city, you do every errand you have. So I have gotten very exciting things so far today, including uh, magic shower glass and mirror cleaner. <laughs> The bane of my cleaning existence is the shower. Am I the only one? I hate cleaning the shower. It just seems so stupid that an area that is continually soaked and watered by its very nature needs cleaning. But of course it does. And also I got um, Sonic Care replacement heads. It so far is very exciting, but... I am right outside of the Barnes & Noble right now. So my purchases for the day did indeed get more exciting. I am back home and uh, I'm, I'm leveling up from the glass cleaner for the shower and I got some books. Um, I'm so excited about all four of these. Okay, the first one I got is The Remains of the Day uh, by Ishiguro. I have, um, was it last month or the month before? I read um, Never Let Me Go and Clara and the Sun. And his writing is just incredible. Yeah, so I know people love this book and I'm eager to see if, if I do too. Then, this is the sequel to Bluebird, Bluebird, which I really enjoy. It's heaven, my home. Um, what first attracted me to Bluebird, Bluebird, that was months ago, but I have um, I think I got it from the library. Either that or Scribd, and I saw it was set in East Texas, and that is where I went to college. So, yeah, I've been wanting to read the sequel, and I finally went ahead and picked it up. This actually may be the next book I start reading. Okay, so <laughs> I've mentioned before, I have six brothers, no sisters. And the nice thing about having, we're a very competitive family in a way, or we certainly used to be. Um, but as the only girl, I didn't feel like I had to compete against my brothers. But uh, the one thing I would like to stake claim to is I am a more voracious reader than any of them. I have several brothers who do read, um, but I, I'd like to keep the top, uh, the top mark in that category. And my brother Paul bragged and bragged and bragged when he finished The Count of Monte Cristo and loved it. I can't let him have this over my head. I have never read it. I know nothing about it other than people love this book, including Paul. So I, I have to get it done. And then as if, who would think this would not be the thickest book I bought today, but Indeed, it's not. This is, I got Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. I believe this is her debut novel. And I just read Paranisi uh, when it came out a month or two ago and loved it. And so now I want to read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Again, um, her genre isn't something, uh, because I believe she's considered a fantasy novelist. Her writing is just so beautiful. Um, I certainly felt like Piranesi was literary fiction, but I guess it's in the fantasy category, and so is this one. So, yeah. Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday. 
April 28th. Ooh, I hear the pitter patter of little feet. Hey, Zuzu. Good morning, girl. Good morning, puppy. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Okay. So anyway, um, it's, it's time to sit at my desk and do some stuff. Uh, what do I have on the agenda? It is 8.39. I've been up since seven. I've already done the morning cleaning. Um, you guys are familiar with this room. This is my office and it is a cloudy morning and yet the sun is trying to peek through. It's going to be hot today, like 80 degrees. My, my desk may look a little different than normally, than normal because I, um, I am minimizing my tech. <laughs> so I had a huge iMac over there. I gave that to my husband. It works great still. I just did not use it much. And then I traded in my MacBook Pro because, and they gave me top dollar for it, so that was exciting, because I want to get the new, um, oh, I guess I could turn this around. So as I was saying, I traded in my um, MacBook Pro so that, um, I don't know if any of you are Apple, Apple fans out there, but the new iPad Pro is coming out. We can order it on Friday, April 30th. So my plan is to do that. Hopefully it doesn't sell out before I get my order in and um, they'll ship mid-March. So right now, all I have is my iPhone and my old iPad. Um, <laughs> So I've never edited a video on uh, my iPad before, and I'm gonna give it a try for this vlog since I don't have my computers anymore. <laughs> but it, I don't know, it just feels good to minimize and simplify, and the new iPad Pro that is coming out, that sun's killing me, um, the new iPad Pro that is coming out is, it's, it's serious. So I think I can replace um, my MacBook Pro with it and be, and be very happy. I just, it's about nine o'clock, just made breakfast, peanut butter toast. Does it get any better in the morning? And a second cup of coffee because sometimes one isn't enough. So while I, uh, have breakfast. I'm watching Sarah at Hardcover Hearts, her latest video. So that will be nice. As you may recall, this is my book haul from yesterday and I posted it on Instagram last night and several people commented uh, saying how much they love The Count of Monte Cristo. And, and I hate being out of the loop. <laughs> so I am thinking that May, which starts in like two days, would be a great month. Doesn't this sound good? May, the month of Monte, uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. We've got a little alliteration there. And yeah, I want to see what everyone's raving about. It is about 11 a.m. and I'm just working on some desk work. But just to give you an idea, so I have two cats and one dog. And <laughs> in this whole house, they're all with me. So that is Emily, Emily, and this is Henry, and there's Zuzu. Yeah, I wish they all would snuggle together, but they 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 plot out their own spot and just hang out with Mama. All right, my work at home day is done. It's four p.m. and I'm calling it. I'm gonna read for the rest of the evening. I realize here I'm like, what, like eight minutes into this vlog and I haven't even told you guys what I'm reading. So um, on Monday, I started North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, but the audiobook, and the audiobook is narrated by Juliet Stevenson. Oh my gosh, she is so good. When I was reading Middle March last year, I alternated between the audiobook and the and the actual book and Juliet Stevenson, she she narrated that one too, and she she is just delightful, especially for these types of novels. So North and South, um, I mean, I've wanted to read it for decades, and I'm just now getting around to it. And I have to say, I am really enjoying this book. Um, it audiobook wise, it's like. It's just over 18 hours, I think. 
and I believe I have eight hours left. But it, it, if you're like me, audiobooks take much longer than regular books, and I'm not doing any chores tonight where I need to be listening to an audiobook, so I got um, uh, the book online, too, for free. Did I get it from the library? I got it somewhere. <laughs> so I think I am going to read it via um, on my iPad, and and see, I don't think I could finish it tonight. There's probably too much left, but I definitely want to finish it. <laughs> I definitely want to finish it before the end of this month. Today is April 28th. So I have today, tomorrow, and the next day because I am now I'm all excited about Monte Cristo May. I'm super excited. So uh, um, as you know, North and South is quite uh, the hefty book too. So I got to get that done. And I'm just really enjoying it. I have no idea where this is going. Well, maybe I, ha maybe I have my guesses, but who knows? I will, I'll check back in later. Good morning. Today is Thursday, the 29th of April. And I just thought I'd wrap up the vlog here so I can get this posted today uh, or early tomorrow. So um, to update you on my current reading, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, mainly via the audiobook narrated by Juliet Stevenson, which is so, so good. I am in love with this book. I am so in love that yesterday, even though I got this free, the audiobook, it's if you're an audible member. It comes free with your subscription. And then um, Apple's iBooks has the uh, the PDF of the book free. But I'm just loving it so much that I need it on my shelf. So <laughs> I found a really good copy for just over $10 and I ordered that. It's coming from the UK. <laughs> um, it's like, it's like a bedtime story before adults. I just love it. I'm I'm taking it at the pace Gaskell is writing it. I I'm not I'm not wishing it were faster. I'm certainly not wishing it were slower. I just love the pace she is telling this story. It's never boring. It's never dull. And yet and yet it's not as if, you know, this is a mystery thriller. Like I, I, but I'm just enjoying it. I am savoring it. I won't talk too much more because I'm going to do a monthly wrap up and now I'll do a summary of the book or or let you know the gist of the book then. But I do want to wrap up this vlog and get it posted. I hope you guys are having a great reading week. Um, if any of you want to join me in reading The Count of Monte Cristo in May, uh, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, <laughs> It's been fun to vlog and I think I'll, I'll just continue on this vlog after or vlogging after I get this posted. But I hope you guys have a great weeding, reading, weeding, reading week and weeding if you if you so choose. And I will see you next time. Bye.